apologize. Convicted of corruption, just as the Kilpatrick trial comes to a close, a Detroit City Hall insider talks to Seven about the federal prison time he did for taking bribes. For the first time ever, we are talking to Sam Riddle. He has moved from home detention to parole with far fewer restrictions. And Sam, who's very talkative in the past, is talking only with Seven Action News reporter Jim Kirchner, and he's apologizing, as we heard, huh? He is doing that, and he describes Detroit politics as a cesspool of corruption, and he says... He was a player. You know, Jim, this church is a lot like me in Detroit. It's in some disrepair. Sam Riddle wanted to meet in front of the historic King Solomon Baptist Church. He says a metaphor for his life now. You make a contribution to your community and to yourself. Four years ago, Sam Riddle worked for Detroit City Council member Monica Conyers. They were the lead stories as a federal bankruptcy case was surfacing, and they were publicly in denial. I was not a bag man for any 25 grand to Councilwoman Conyers, no. Do you want the judge to lock me up? No. Well, then why do you keep following me? I don't intend to be the fall guy. I'm not in competition with Monica Conyers, but who's going to plead guilty to something? So today on the other end of federal prison, it is a different Sam Riddle, sort of. And, and you know, we can't play games about that. I'm not going to sit out here and pretend that ugly things didn't happen because I believe ugly things did happen. I believe that we got used to a culture that said this is the way we rolled in Detroit. Well, guess what? The way we were rolling in Detroit was wrong. Sam Riddle was the Detroit City Hall insider during the time Kwame Kilpatrick was mayor. Now the former mayor, his father, Bernard Kilpatrick, and contractor friend Bobby Ferguson are about to find out from a federal jury if they are guilty of bribery <laughs> and other charges. Of course, I've worked with those guys before. All I can say is that I know emotionally what they're going through. I know the type of politics that led to this trial. I know the type of value system that led to this trial. All I can say is that as we speak now, all three of them enjoy the presumption of innocence. Do they but I can tell you, I can tell you, I'm not, I'm not judgmental. If you're doing wrong and you're betraying the public trust, you should expect to feel the full brunt of the law. That's what I'm saying. And on the back side of that, Conyers is in home confinement. That's what Sam just finished. What does Sam say about her, and does he plan to return to working in politics? We'll bring you that at 7 right here. Most Steve good Cole. questions. And also, any restrictions on him now, or is he, like, absolutely a free man to do what he wants? He's on parole for three years. He has to check in once a month. No illegal drugs, no guns. Other than that, no travel restrictions. Basically, back to normal.